is Rob Morales from Morales Business Network, and today I'm here with Blue Mitchell and Ellie Rose Mitchell with Sigma College University Trade Schools. The Morales Business Network was formed to support our entrepreneurs and small businesses through network marketing. For the next 20 minutes, we're going to be talking to Blue about his business, but more importantly about who he is. Here at the Morales Business Network, we believe in connecting people via video marketing and exploring the you in your business. With that said, we like your likes, but we love your loves. So hit the... <laughs> so... So <laughs> She loves so, her loves, too. Please click those hearts and let that sea of red just uh, flow right past us. Um, if you're on YouTube right now, please uh, hit the subscribe button below, and that bell icon will give you notification of future videos. So with that said, Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. How's it going? It's great, man. Things are great. Really great. And so we're here to talk about your business. It's uh, Sigma Cuts. Yes. And college trade schools. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit more about what that is. Sigma Cuts uh, is an acronym. Sigma is a uh, mathematical term. It just means the sum of all. Cuts is an acronym that stands for College University Trade Schools. This program is designed to eliminate educational debt for individuals individuals provide scholarship based education and guaranteed job placement for uh, passionate motivated dedicated individuals of any economic class is there an application criteria what's they have to do uh, let's just say for our cosmetology school they have to do a video submission on their Instagram and Facebook they use the hashtag uh, Sigma scholarship as the main hashtag but they also use for each course so we have our massage therapy program we have our CNA program hashtag Sigma Scholarship, MTA for yeah. the Medical Training Academy, or MTP for the Massage Therapy Program. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's how they apply, is on their own social medias. You must be successful. I see you have a assistant with you. Yeah. She's, she, <laughs> I guess it's, it's probably the best thing to explain why we're here and uh, you have somebody with you. Yeah, definitely. She's so. not growing on you, right? She is. She's <laughs> growing. She grew out of me. She came out of me and, you know, she landed right here in my lap. So... <laughs> Just oh, what's, what's, her, what's her name? So this is Ariella Rose Mitchell. Um, I, we call her Ellie. She is like my everything, you know. Um, she's with me all the time. Um, her mom and I are really, really good uh, co-parents together. We yeah. are raising a beautiful uh, young daughter together that's going to be dynamic in positions like this, right? Getting uh, pre-exposed to uh, entrepreneurship. At a very young age. At a very young age. <laughs> um, so hopefully she um, picks up the arch uh, articulation, if that's a word. I double majored in sociology and psychology at ASU, so um, yeah. one of the things that I wanted to do was become a psychiatrist and do uh, research for cognitive development on pre-adolescence. So the best way to do this is have a baby? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that works. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, she's falling asleep too. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Shit, there she goes. Oh, she goes. <laughs> yeah, she can't go as hard as me yet. She's been up five hours no sleep, so it's about time she crashes out. And in the evolution of things, where, where did you come from? And, and uh, as you look back, you know, do you feel successful now? My mom had four kids at the age of 20, right? Yeah. I was born in Kansas City, Missouri. Let's, let's back up there. Uh, and uh, my mom found out that my biological father was molesting us, me and my sisters, immediately. She did what her mom was supposed to do. She left and uh, went from Missouri to uh, Los Angeles, where we stayed with my grandmother in a uh, roach-infested house with crackheads and alcoholics and all kinds of gangs and drugs around us. Seeing my mom work as hard as she did um, to go through school and uh, get her master's. She ended up getting her LVN, getting her uh, bachelor's degree in nursing, and then end up getting her master's degree and working tirelessly. You know, my mom is my, my drive, right? She, I, I definitely take a lot of that from her, but you know, her not being home during holidays, and Christmas, Thanksgiving, my mom was always working because you get double time, you know, when you're a nurse. So just having that mentality like man I gotta work I gotta bust my butt to be able to be successful this so that my family can be taken care of because we were taken care of you know I, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth but I did I didn't have a want or a need you do, know, do you, thanks do, to the hard work of my mom do you feel like there was something uh, missed out in your childhood in relation to your mom my mom though she works worked as hard as she did uh, she tried to have as much fun as she could uh, you know my, my my stepdad came into the picture my dad they stayed married 
up until the day that he literally just passed away this year. So, I mean, we had a, a male figure in the house. It wasn't the greatest male figure, but it was somebody that could uh, uh, help balance my, my, my mom out, and it was uh, it was worth it. Do you feel it's important that, that, that uh, Ariana is here with you? And uh, Ariella, I'm so right. happy that she's uh, here with me, you know, because, uh, and you can call her Ellie, she, um, I'm, I'm extremely happy. When her uh, mom and I decided to, to you know, say that hey let's let's just have a baby and then we literally sat down like okay well how is this going to work and the reason why she with me is with me is because we agreed that we wasn't going to put her in daycare until she can talk but that's going to change because business is picking up you know i'm leaving out of state yeah. weekends at a time now or even during the week now so it's becoming extremely difficult to to, to manage you know being a father and uh and uh uh, manager business it is it's it, it is hard work but yeah. you have to be passionate and dedicated and keep going and can't take no for an answer and don't think just because you have a child that everything needs to just stop I think just about every time I've come and seen you or visited you she's always with you yeah oh yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> it much, is yeah, yeah. Uh, do you find it a challenge every day um, just being able to get with networking groups uh, that allow children to come in because in order to expand your business put yourself out there with other business owners and know and, and to network and you can't do that in some groups with children wanting to do a presentation you know uh, with some networking groups and they're like no you can't bring your, your children your child I'm like but I'm presenting today like what do you mean I can't bring I just, yeah. so it's just it's just difficult at some points and I'm changing that right now because she comes with me in business meetings with CEOs that are having billions of dollars and I'm like yo, I got a daughter and she's coming with me or we just can't have to have this meeting. Do you find that's a challenge when oh, yeah. these meetings? Mo most certainly. But when, once I get there and they see her, they see who it is and they see how, you know, I conduct a productive meeting with even having a child right there. It's a... Uh, you, you won't even know she's there. Sometimes she, a lot of times she talks, especially like right now, if she wasn't yeah. sleeping, she'll be wanting a dialogue, which is awesome. We, like we I, did, I encourage it. We did some it. videos before. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That was, that was fun. I literally do this uh, for her, you know, um, and just to be able to be able to push. Well, what are the big things that you're working on right now? So right now we have uh, five acres uh, donated to us with up by the bootstraps in Goodyear to develops homeless veteran community okay. to transition homeless veterans from uh, uh, transit community members to uh, working community society members through education. Whether or not they come to any of our platforms to come to school or they go to GCC, GCU, ASU, whether they're going for AA, a BA, a BS, or a MBA, or a PhD, or MD, they're going to be able to stay at our facilities at little to no cost while they get their education. And what's what's been the driving force to come and offer such a service? What a lot of the uh, veteran communities complain about the VA yeah. and how the VA doesn't help them or they're backed up and it takes so long to get in. Well, the VA is a wonderful, wonderful institution and they just need help, right? So if we can be able to extend our help uh, as community members to honor and serve the people that actually served our country, because that is the biggest thing: is to do everything that we possibly can to be able to serve a member of our community that served our country. Because at yeah. any given moment, we can go to war and guess who picks up? They do. They're strapping on those boots and they're defending our country at the front line. So uh, what we can be able to do to assist them in any way we can, that's what we want to be able to do. When you say scholarship-based education, what, is, what does that mean? So individuals, they, are, they come to school on scholarship. In our cosmetology school, they have to pay a registration fee. It, it pretty much has them have stake in the game. But cosmetology did license or schooling is in between twenty-two thousand to thirty-four thousand dollars, and it's roughly about uh, nineteen thousand to twenty-five thousand dollars of debt. So um, what we've done is, is said, okay, we will eliminate the cost of hours for tuition in all of our programs. Uh, in massage therapy, we eliminate the cost for tuition. In our CNA program, we uh, list eliminate the cost of tuition, which is the hours. Every school has to do a certain amount of hours before they can go before a state board and get their test. So we'll provide scholarships for those hours uh, as long as they are able to pay a registration fee. We'll, we'll cover the remaining amount and uh, give them the education. That, but 
they got they work hard for it and they go to school six days a week right if they show up one minute late three times in a 30-day period they could get dropped from the program it's it's a hard program we've had a lot of people try to come through our program and they do not succeed because they're used to mediocreness you know and we just want to change that so with that said uh, we're gonna take a small commercial break and we'll be back talking to Blue Mitchell from Sigma Cuts We are here because we want something different. Hi, my name is Robert Morales. I've explored and tried to figure out the best way to connect with people. It has been a journey all its own, but it originally started with a group of friends who just wanted to kind of figure this whole business thing out. But what happened after that was something way different than I think any of us expected. As we put these events together, it is almost like seeing family. We are here to share our experiences, the things that have happened to us are challenges, but also explore life together. Um, as you'll see, and I believe as you'll experience, this group of people that we've formed is much more than just a business networking group. What it's become is a family, and the, and the true essence of family is where people meet and share each other's lives. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are the Morales Business Network. Hello. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. Hello. Um, So we're back and uh, I want to thank uh, Blue Mitchell for uh, meeting up with me today, talking about Sigma Cuts, talking about trade schools, VAs, and about family and yeah. uh, how how that's important. <laughs> yeah. No, she's all knocked out. So we got somebody that's just DOA, right? Yeah. yeah. She, she is, she's, she's knocked out. She had a pretty rough day. We're steadily growing, you know, Robert. We are adding more and more um, organizations that can help our veteran community. And Dr. Gan is a clinical uh, psychologist who's licensed to supervise. Okay, He's a, a forensic psychologist. Uh, we provide uh, free counseling services for our community members and our PTSD veterans in groups to be able to come in to talk about their issues, their problems. And also Dr. Daba, who's our medical director for Sigma Cuts uh, Medical Training Academy, we provide free medical evaluations. I know the VA because sometimes they just get backed up and they get behind and they may not be able to get to a uh, particular individual for months on end. Yeah. So we provide medical evaluations at no cost uh, for them to be able to get medical marijuana cards. So it's almost like $125 that we can be able to save a veteran member uh, that needs to be able to get um, uh, their, their some help. Um, the more successful entrepreneurs do it for a purpose or a reason. They don't uh, they don't just take on to make money. I mean, it's not, it's not typically what it means. You know, uh, at, at the end of the road, or at least at the end of success, what does this mean to you? What, is, what does this path or this journey mean to you? It just means more of a sense of America, to be honest. From birth, right, I tell Ellie, you know, like, girl, you're going to be able to do whatever you want to do, right, based off of what it is that, you know, we are creating as a unit together. Anyone, everyone, every mother, every father pretty much tells their child, like, hey, you can be whatever you want to do. You can be whatever you want to be or do whatever you want to do because you live in America. The, the problem with that is they don't tell them that it comes with a cost. You know, the real driving force is the fact that I'm from Compton, California. I, that's where I was raised. I've lived there for 14 years, 15 years of my whole life and, yeah. you know, been, in, been involved in gangs. My sister was shot and killed at 15 right up the street from the house and uh, it was uh, just, a, just a, a, a hard upbringing to be able to come into. I felt like I, I have a decent mind and what I really wanted to be again was a psychiatrist but um, that took medical school or that takes medical school and medical school costs a lot of money so right there that's a deterrent I'm like I don't want to go five hundred thousand dollars into debt my mom is an RN registered nurse at a Cedar Sinai Hospital there's no way that I can be able to afford to go to medical school you know um, even if I got 4.0 grades and um, I doubt that I'll be able to get it it's a deterrent so now I have to think about what else can I do? What else I can become? And uh, it just goes down from there. Well, I can become a PhD. And well, that's $200,000 of debt. That's a deterrent. Now, just imagine if those financial
potential, deterrence were not there. If we can say, hey, you can come and be a psychiatrist at Sigma Cuts Medical Training Academy and you can do it on scholarship and not have to go into $300,000, $400,000 of debt, which is what we have right now. <laughs> we have so we have a dentist that's coming aboard Sigma Cuts. We have uh, an architect that's coming aboard Sigma Cuts to bring architectural school and design on scholarship, to bring uh, dental assisting and dental hygienists on scholarship. I'm super excited about the future of what's going to be happening with uh, Sigma Cuts and our company and, um, and the people that's coming a part of our board. It's a wonderful thing and the driving force is to be able to help our American um, veterans. One veteran per student in each one of our schools get free service. So in our massage therapy school, they can get an hour massage every day for being a veteran, yeah. one per student. Uh, uh, cosmetology, they can get unlimited eyelash extensions, hair color, they get our highest package at no cost, which means they can come in every single day, get color, get their nails done, blow dry style, or haircut, beard trim, basic manicure, pedicure at no cost because they're a veteran and they, they served our country in some way, shape, capacity. Again, talking about the journey too, um, as a parent, you definitely want to leave something behind, a legacy or something to learn. You know, what do you, what do you want Ellie to walk away with? That giving back uh, is... Uh, a huge undertaking. My goal is to be able to have enough on my shoulders that she can she can just breathe easily. And she could literally be, say, I have 18 years, okay, to be able to provide whatever she wants to be able to do. I can be able to provide it on scholarship. And not just to her, but to our American citizens, whether it's them becoming, uh, getting their AA, their BA, whatever it is, through an online platform that we're building. I want her to be able to walk away and say, hey, uh, uh, if you serve our country, we want to take care of you. That's what I want her to be able to walk away with. Tending to her, her needs, um, what has been the biggest challenge for you? Because I, I think I've heard it from many perspectives, but what's, what's been the biggest challenge? So, just want to clear the air, like, her her mom is 100% active. You know, Eric and I uh, are are yeah. really 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 good friends. We co-parent really well together. Uh, just the fact that um, you can't do or go anywhere right when you need to. Like I get calls to say, hey, I want to open up a school here in Florida. Can you come out? And I'm like, yeah, but when? And when you get down there, there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen. You got to talk with city officials. They don't really yeah. open during the weekend, and you know that's the time that I normally can be able to, to get away. It's, it's difficult. It is a, a, a small hindrance, but um, we, we partner well together so that um, it's, it's good. Um, but it it is hard. I just, it's, it's hard. I don't know what else to say. Only because it's something different. A lot of people that uh, have kids, they don't take their kids with them to work. You know, it's uh, taboo or frowned upon or looked at kind of like, eh. But um, to me, I'm like, I care to change that. I have a program I have something that yeah. we created that is created that's here that's tangible don't let the fact that I have a daughter be able to deter that that shouldn't even be an issue you know um, and shout out to all this the you know single fathers and single moms that are out there doing it and uh, really really working hard because you may not have anybody that to fall on you know there's a lot of a lot of you guys out there keep grinding and keep doing what you're doing because at the end of the day they're gonna recognize that your kids are. Somebody might be starting a business and they may be anticipating having a child. After your experiences, is there any takeaways that you can share? Or Do it. Advice? Like, don't let the fact that you're not, you're never going to be prepared, right? Like, <laughs> you, I mean, you could, but you're you're never going to be really, really, really prepared. The fact is, if you want to, if you want to have a child, have a child. If you're already pregnant and you've got a business idea, do it. RSVP on Wednesdays. I do business one-on-ones to talk about how to start a business. Literally, from filling out corporate cor corporation commission documents to how to negotiate a lease, and I don't charge for this, right? Because we need more entrepreneurs. America is ran off of mom and pop shops with those tax dollars following into our economic system within these small pockets of community. We need more of them. Where's what's uh, location? It's here. It's actually oh, so we are here at <laughs> the Medical Training Academy. You see all the beds behind us that was donated. We'll, we'll throw an address. Here. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, six. 205 North 59th Avenue, uh, Glendale, Arizona, Suite 185301. That's Sigma Cuts, big, beautiful building um, right on 59th Avenue and Rose Lane.
in the city of Glendale. What is what are the next steps from here? I mean, uh, it looks like we're uh, yeah open up shop here. We are, so we are, <laughs> and uh, today we just we need more students. The next step is just starting to get our marketing down, advertising. Hopefully, we land a partnership with a big chain of Mod Pizza to be able to be uh, their spokesperson. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, cross our fingers, pray for us. Just continue to grow and add like-minded people. We need more doctors. We need more nurses. That uh, if you if you have debt, you can do some volunteering with us to eliminate that we can help you um, and also who wants to make a difference best way to get a hold of you What's so the best way to get a hold of us is to go on to sigmacuts.org uh, if you are interested or know someone tell them to do a video submission use the hashtag sigma scholarship tell us who they are why they deserve a scholarship doesn't matter what what they want to go to school for and uh, a phone number maybe so 623-252-0881 um, yeah 623-252-0881 is the main number for our cosmetology school here location in Glendale so I can't believe it's been a whole 20 minutes Already, I know like. it's so fast. <laughs> I need <Right>. more time. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to. I want to thank uh, Blue Mitchell for for joining us today. Appreciate your time and uh, want to reach out. Trade schools, Sigma Cuts. Yes. Uh, we'll take care of you, right? Thank you, Robert, so much for having this interview. And uh, please uh, donate to us. Uh, we are trying to raise ten million dollars for this uh, five acres that we have in Goodyear with up by the bootstraps to build a location for our veteran community. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank we'll catch you, you guys. Bye bye. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notification of future videos. <laughs> Thanks for watching.